I'm Jackson Pierce and this video is about critique partners. When I started writing, anybody who wanted to could read my manuscripts. Actually, anybody who like could breathe could read them. Um, I don't think I even had like, you know, ability to read as a requirement if you wanted to read one of my books. I just wanted feedback in any shape and form. But then when I started to get really serious about wanting to be published, I narrowed my critique pool down to two people. I trusted what they had to say because they were involved in the writing industry and knew what it took to get published. And now I have three or four critique partners whose job is to do one thing. Beat my books into submission until I hide in the corner of my office quivering. <laughs> and I love them for it. That's the kind of critique partner I want. One who's honest. One who won't let the book go out unless it's awesome. One whose interest is in the quality of the book, not my feelings. But that's just me. Some people want a softer hand when it comes to critiques. And that's fine. There are only a few things that I consider to be universal critique partner rules. Number one. A critique partner's job is not to flatter you endlessly. If you want a lot of flattery, send the book to your mom and she'll read it and tell you how proud she is and she'll just be delighted no matter what you wrote. Number two, a critique partner needs to be qualified. Try to find a partner who reads a lot and better yet, writes a lot. Number three, try to find a critique partner whose style you mesh with. If getting a really heavy, hard-handed review is going to crush your spirit and make you quit the book, you don't want a critique partner who's going to give you that kind of critique. Number four, don't argue. Even if you disagree with what your critique partner has to say, it just makes you look like a jerk. Just don't make the change that you disagree with. It's your book. Number five, remember that if you want to be an author, you've got to get used to people reading and not always liking your work. It's not the end of the world if somebody doesn't like your book, and likewise, it's not the beginning of the rest of your life if somebody loves the book. It's one person's opinion, and it's up to you what to do with it. Thanks for watching, and you can catch the rest of my blog at www.jacksonpierce.com.